Okay, switch on the machine. All right, we install the a wheel and we do the measurement. 15. And for the wheel width is 6 inch. Okay. So perfect. And lower down the wheel guard. And spinning. And we see that is excessive large imbalance. And it shows an error 001 do OPT. So that means the machine now is not balancing. So it had an error. What we need to do to exit the error, we have to press F and number two button. This one. F, number two button. Okay, we exit. Now what we need to do, we need to remove the wheel and to per perform the machine calibration. Okay. So when there is an arrow zero zero one, a machine suggests to do OPT, and then that we take off the wheel, and then that we press F and number three button, F and number three button. So this is service, and this is service, okay? And this is number three button, we press one more time. So this is a calibration car, okay? Press one more time. So this is cal zero. Empty shaft, no wheel, and just lower down the wheel guard. We wait for the first empty shaft of balancing calibration. So this is a Cal 1. So we need to mount on the steel wheel. All right, mount it on the cone. <coughs> Locking tight. All right, and measurement 100, 101. So distance 101. The weight 6. Diameter 15. Okay, perfect. So next step lower down wheel guard. So we see the half circle. We move the half circle and look for symbol of the 50. So we get a 50 gram, right? So that's the pedal. And to add the 50 grams on the inner side, 12 o'clock on top, lower down the wheel guard and perform. Next step. So we see that here comes an, an error again, error is error 0, 2, 6, and shows no A. That means the, the pickup sensor, A value, no signal. So we need to go and do diagnostics that why it will have this error code 0, 2, 6 during the machine calibration. Okay. We need to do the diagnos uh, diagnostics, troubleshooting first. We have to exit 0 to 6. Press F and number 2 button. F and number 2 button. So we exit. Okay, continue to exit. F and number 3 button. F and number 3 button. So now we are back to the service service, the service menu. Okay, and press F and this lamp, number 9 button. F and the lamp. F and lamp. Okay, so this is testing programs. We have to go 
to to uh, press the plus or minus key to look for the UFC. Okay, we press the plus, 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 plus. Okay, so this one, UFC. Actually, this is a voltage. So this is a V voltage frequency converter at a number nine key. So now we enter into the um, the testing program, so testing the signals for the pickup sensors. Because before we have an error 0 to 6, and there is no A, that means this, the pickup sensor A is no signal, and we can see the two values here, the two windows. Here I, I tell you that this window it represents uh, the pickup sensor value A. Pickup sensor value A. And then this one is a pickup sensor value B. Okay, so now I remove the weight tree cover. I remove the weight tree cover. So we can check about this two part. This two part. So this one, this one, close, close um, to the to the to this part. Cross. So this is sensor A. So this one represents the cross to the other side. So this part is the pickup sensor B. Okay, so now you see that one is very active. When I press the wheel, it can fluctuate and changing the values. But this side represents the pickup A. It's freezing, no change. You see? So this is strange. So what we need to do first, uh, we must make sure and to check about the the pickup sensor because inside is uh, a little bit dark but you can check that the the pickup sensors if it is uh, installing there installing there all right okay and then we have to go back and to check because um, at the back of the computer board look at this eye please so this is a computer board, huh? See, the plug is plugged off. All right. So you can see that there are two plugs. All right. And what is the difference between two plugs? You you will notice that one plug is with the knot. One plug with the knot. This one we call the the pickup sensor A plug. This one without the knot, the pickup sensor B plug. Okay, and then if you notice here, at the back uh, here, there are the small indications. So this is pickup A, pickup B, and pickup A. So there are two pickup A plugs, and only one pickup B. All right? Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to plug in, plug back the pickup A. Before we know that pickup A was not responding, the no signals. So now, wow. Plug the wrong side. Sorry. Okay, this time is easier. <laughs> okay, plugged in. Okay, let's go and to check in the front. So now you see, after I plug in back, the pickup A and B, they are both. You see, when I push the wheel, okay, both two sides, they can fluctuate now. They are working now. See? They're working now. 
when I don't touch them, like this value, but when I push the wheel, both two sides, now they can fluctuate. Because, just now, because the, the plug was plugged off, or the signal is not continuously, or maybe some of the plug is loose and not this, is not connecting firmly. Okay, so now I'm going to exit this program. F and number nine button. Okay, so this is return. F and number nine button. Okay, so this time I'm going to take up the wheel. Okay, so now it's in service. I'm going to do the machine calibration once again after I plug in the, the pickup sensor A because the pickup sensor A, yeah, this in value, yeah. So now is press this button, calibration for the car, calibration, and this is zero, okay, and lower down. And we wait. All right, so this is Cal 1, and we mount on the steel wheel, <coughs> on, lock nut, all right, locking tight, measurement, 101 for the distance, perfect, 6 for Y, and 15 for diameter, everything good, now, uh, Okay, so we got this ready, but not now. Just lower down to get what's been after. So now we move the wheel, look for the symbol of 50, and we'll put 50 grams on the top. Okay, now come. Remember last just a few minutes ago, when we add 50 grams on the inner side, when we give a spin, there is an error. 0, 2, 6. At this time, after we check the signal of the pickup A sensors, there is no error this time. Now, I'm going to remove this one. And to check this part, okay, add 50 grams on the outer side, perfect, right, continue lower down the wheel guard, okay, good, so, leaving the weight on the, on the wheel and just to give one more spin and to check if this time we are having excessive big waves, oh no, it's coming back and working as it should be. When I put the waves, the lights is lit up, and we check the weight is six o'clock. Same thing, if I put the weights on the inner side and give a spin, Right, so we check when the lights are lit up. We see the weights is six o'clock position. So, okay. <laughs>